James Reed, nagsalita na tungkol kay Liza Soberano at ang nagtrado sa kanya na si Jeff O. She's no longer connected with Kelly. It just made sense. There was already so many rumors coming out. Uh, has Liza left Kelly? May problema ba? He tricked me. I'd been working with him for a very long time and it turns out he wasn't the person who he said he was. Ah, yun ang ma yun ang malalim na tanong. Lumutang ko bang pangalan ko? <laughs> Kasama na kayo doon. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw, tatay ko. His true colors showed and that he's a fraud. I have to say, like to be very honest, for me, witnessing all of the bashing, nakaka-depression, to be honest. Pag-usapan natin yan dito sa What's up ka, Pinoy Rob? If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community. Usap-usapan ngayon sa social media ang isang nagngangalang Jeffrey O na kapartner ni James Reed sa trabaho at ginawa niyang CEO ang kanyang sarili sa careless na company na supposed to be pinagmamayari ito ni James Reed na wala lang siya saglit na iba ang pangalan ng CEO sa kanyang kumpanya, Liza Soberano. Hindi napigilan kumalas sa careless na pinagmamayari ni James Reed. Alam naman natin na si James Reed at Liza Soberano, guys, is napaka um, lakas ng pakikipag-ugnayan nila sa pagdating sa production, sa music, sa actingan. Kasi napaka-talented na talented talaga tong si Liza Soberano kasama or minamanage ni um, uh, tinatawag natin na si James Reed. No? So si James Reed ay hindi lang siya artista, hindi lang siya singer, but nagmamayari din siya ng tinatawag na careless production. And at the same time, may na-discover silang isang artista or napaka-talentado ding tao na nagngangalang Jeffrey O. Abay, trinaydor si um, James Reed. So, sa panayam ni Ogi Diaz kay James Reed, guys, no? malalaman natin kung ano ba talaga ang kabuang rason kung bakit nangyari ang lahat ng ito. So, subaybayan natin, sabay-sabay natin subaybayan at panoorin ang interview ni Ogie Diaz at ni James Reed kasama ang kanyang legal counsel. Panoorin natin. Ako gusto ko lang sabihin kay James Reed ngayon na, James, kahit hinandel mo nun si Liza, wala kang narinig sa akin na mm -hmm. anything against you. Kasi ganun talaga, eh, nag-expire ng contract sa akin. Ah, galing si Liza ka ka OG. So, wala namang problema yun. Kasi ah. maliit lang naman ang mundo. Ang importante, wala rin naman akong narinig kay James mm -hmm. Reed na sinabi niya against me. 
Thank you so much for no. that. Also, thank you. Wala naman akong problema sa sa iyo. Oh, oh, oh. It's always been very good. Yeah. So, ito na nga kung bakit may legal counsel na kasama si James. Mm -hmm. At uh, syempre, nauna na rito ay eh, uh, lumabas yung uh, press statement mula sa Careless mm -hmm. na hindi na nila hina-handle si Liza Soberano at uh, ganun din ang kanilang partner sa negosyo na si uh, Jeffrey O ay hindi na rin konektado pa sa Careless. Tama po ba? So actually, um, my legal counsel, Attorney Rodel de Guzman, is here more for Jeff. But for Liza, yes, we announced only a few days ago she's no longer with Careless. Mm -mm. Uh, it was her decision to leave, actually. Siya ang umalis, hindi kayo ang nag-declare na alisin siya. Yes. Okay. And you know, it's in with with our agreement with Liza. You know, we have you know, a clause. You know, it's termination for convenience, so she can leave anytime. Actually, I think you know, must focus she sa career niya sa LA, and kami must focus sa uh, Philippines. You know, mm -hmm. with my music career, I'm going back to acting. So we had different career paths, I think. And she has her own co-management in LA, mm. uh, Transparent Arts. Mm. And she, she's really focused there. So it didn't really make sense for us. Actually, she's been managing herself, I can say, making a lot of her own decisions. She's very creative, very ambitious. She's very business-minded. Business-minded. It's been great working with her. She's a very sweet girl, I'm sure you know. And you know, we wish her all the best with her career in LA, with all of her international projects, everything she's doing. And you know, I just wanted to know, may babalikan siya dito sa Pilipinas. Um, if ever, if ever yes. Niya. You know, the careless team is always here for her, no matter what. And it's been a great ride working with her over the past five years. Through the pandemic, and she's come a very long way. And yeah, we're very proud of her. Mutual ba yung decision nyo na magkaroon ng uh, press statement? An announcement from Careless na she's no longer connected with Careless. No, that came from us. That, that, that came from Careless. It just made sense. There was already so many rumors coming out. Uh, has Liza left Careless? My problem ba? So I made the call just to release it. So it's clear mm -hmm. that we're no longer managing her. And you informed her na maglalabas kami ng press tape. Yes. Yeah. And uh, ano yung sinabi niya? When we told her we're going to release a statement, actually she hadn't gotten back to us. It's been difficult to contact her. Nasa US siya. She's been very busy. But we had talked about it before. Pero wala naman kayong uh, bad blood, magkagalit pa kayo. I'm not an angry person. I know. Yeah, it takes a lot to get me upset, but no, we wish her all the best. And it's, it's very difficult, you know, what she's doing and James pushing that U.S. career. So we give her 100% support, even for the project she still has here. We still support mm -hmm. her. So since si Atorney naririto, mm -hmm. meron ba kayong gusto ng sabihin sa public? Kasi sure, nakadikit din sa pangalan niyo si Jeffrey O, yung former manager din ni Liza na kapartner mo. So actually, I. I, uh, I met attorney Rodell last year to help with a lot of the issues when Jeff was uh, originally arrested for immigration issues and we had hired our attorney Rodell to look into the companies and do an audit just to resolve and fix everything and um, I think attorney Rodell can take over from here. Atoyni? Yeah, actually, si Liza ang kumausap sa amin para tulungan ng Careless Group mm -hmm. na pag-aralan ko ng mga nangyayari. Kailan po ito? Pandang August na 2023. Nag-umpisa, naglabas kami ng aming uh, audit findings. Pinaliwanag namin. Naharap si Jeffrey O. Ano pong hmm. findings? Maraming posibleng maging problema pa yung kumpanya. Pero ang pinakamalaking nakita namin ay kulang ang papeles ni Jeffrey O para magtrabaho dito sa Pilipinas. Oh. So, nirekomenda namin sa kumpanya na dapat alisin muna yung mga kulang ang papeles. At saka namin na ayusin pa yung mga ibang problema ng kumpanya. At ang naging uh, reminder ko nga kay James, ang careless ay iisa lang ang registradong may-ari. Si James Reed James lang. Reed so, kung lang. ano naging problema ng kumpanya at ng taohan niya, siya ang madali. Dawit. Mm. Napag-usapan na namin na dapat formal na na alisin si dapat. Jeffrey O dapat para lang. alam ng publiko na wala ng relasyon si Jeffrey O dun sa mga kumpanya. Hmm. So naglabas po kayo sa broadsheet ng uh, ad na nagsasabi na si Jeffrey O is no longer connected with the companies of James. Hmm. Naglabas na rin kami pero ang nangyari dyan kinausap, siyempre eh, kinausap muna namin siya, pinaliwanag namin ng mga dahilan. Alam naman niya kung na naging problema dahil dinidiscuss namin sa kanya yan. When was this po? 
nung July 2, nag-meeting kami galing siya sa LA at kaharap si Eugene. Sinabi na namin na formal na intermination at kung anong pinag-usapan din namin, kung ano yung mga dapat na ayusin. Kasi hmm. maraming mga bagay na dapat ayusin pa sa kumpanya kasama na accounting ng mga ano ng mga pondo. At uh, ang sinabi niya sa akin, eh, bigyan ko siya ng isang araw para ihanda niya kung ano man yung, ano, yung mga magiging uh, informasyon na maibibigay niya sa kumpanya. At hinihinga niyo siya ng mga report din? Oo, oh, uh, hinihinga namin siya ng report at actually, sinabi namin, tutulungan namin siya mag-document. Kasi ang isang naging problema ay eh, kulang na kulang sa dokumentasyon. Mm-hmm. Yung mga naging transaction nila under sa careless group. So, mm-hmm. kasama dun sa usapan na yun, document namin lahat ng kulang para mapatakbo ng maayos yung kumpanya. Ayun, uh, tapos ang nangyari, nag-postpone siya na nag-postpone, tapos napalitaan na lang namin na lumipad na siya papunta. Ito wala na. Hindi na kayo binalikan. Hindi na kami binalikan. Nagpasabi si isang kaibigan niya na ayaw na niya makipag-usap sa amin. Uh, ginawa na lang namin, pinadalahan namin siya ng mga sulat kasi marami siyang naging accountabilities dito sa Pilipinas. Ang lang ngayon, wala pa kami natatanggap na sagot. Isa po ba sa mga inihingi niyo report ay mga expenses or may amount po bang info? Marami. Dalawang parte yan. Yung mga dating mga obligasyon na nakita namin na wala pa kami dyan, siguro umaabot ng more than 100 million. At itong mga bagong obligasyon na mula nung sinabi namin sa kanyang huwag kang munang ma-involve dahil inaayos pa namin yung kumpanya, meron pa rin mga panibagong obligasyon na lumitaw na hindi namin alam na pinasok niya. Hmm. Nagamit ng pangalan ng Careless. Ginamit yung pangalan ng Careless, oh. yung pangalan ng Island City na kumpanya rin ni James. Tapos pati na rin yung kumpanya ang tinatayo namin na privately daw ginandre niya. So, doon nga, nung meeting namin, doon lang kami nagkaalam-alaman. Mahigit pa doon sa mga naging problema ni James and meron pang mga ibang naging lumitaw na naging problema. Asan si James dito noon? Habang uh, nanganganak ang problema. Wow, where was I? <laughs> I had no idea a lot of this was happening. It was actually happening for months and had kept me separate from the rest of my team, kept me in the dark about all of these business dealings, telling me, oh, nothing's happening, I'll let you know. And it wasn't until I came forth about, and I finally met with an attorney and explained to him all of the business dealings that I had with him and all the relationship I had with Jeff, how much money he owed me, the contracts that he never gave me. And finally, when all of that came out, his official recommendation to terminate him, give mm-hmm. him a chance to sign those contracts and make those deals right. And voila, he, he, he left. So he tricked me. <laughs> I'd been working with him for a very long time. And it turns out he wasn't the person who he said he was. At nito mo lang siya na discover. So nakamagano na siya. Kasi sinabi ni attorney more than 100 million. More than 100 million is Ooh. to me personally. Personal money more. Personal, personal money. money. Yes. And then there's more for the com- other companies. Mm-hmm. So natunogan mo na ba yung problema, James? Nung nagkaroon kayo ng parang music fest sa Cebu? Wavy Baby. That's Oo. the name of the, the festival. Oo, kasi nag-viral pa yung mga promo-promo ninyo. So, ito, kanya to. Mm-hmm. May kinalaman siya dito. He was the one in charge. And, oh man. There was, once again, kept me in the dark about all of the situation of the music festival, of all the sponsors, things like that. And I didn't find out until only two days before the concert that he didn't actually close any of the sponsors. So I ended up fronting almost the entire thing, to which Ooh. he promised to pay me back, which never happened. Di sumakit ang ulo mo. Oh yeah. Grabe yeah. yun, discrepant. <laughs> Alam mo kahit hindi ako nasa sa ito. Uh, Sabi ko pa ang gagawin ni James dito. Yeah, I think siguro yun yung pinaka-stressful like, moment of Your my life. career, or at least my business career. But I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think his true colors showed and that he's a fraud. Mm. And I think it's better. I'm very happy that he's gone now. Mm. And our entire team, our staff, everyone is a lot happier that he's out of the picture. Things starting to make sense. And things are actually going very well for me, for the company, for all the staff. And it's like good riddance. So ito bang uh, pagkakatabi sa'yo ni Atoy? Eh, mababasa ba ng mga 
reviewers na you will file charges kay GPO. Pag natapos na yung audit namin, palagay ko dun din mauwi talaga. Basa ko sa mga nangyari, hindi pa namin tapos kasi meron pang mga bagong dumadating wow. na obligasyon pala na kay James sinisingil. Eh hindi naman obligasyon ni James. Oh so, man. Even in other countries. So, so may mga obligasyon din doon na sa yung nakakunit. Parang kasi dahil Grabe. Uh, nirepresent niya yung sarili niya as CEO ng kumpanya, eh, si James lang naman yung may hari ng kumpanya, eh, yun ang sinasabi na nung delikado. So legally, si James ang hahabol din. So may mga naghahabol sa iyo, James. Yes, actually, I've, I've got, they've all reached out to me. I've gotten in contact with them explain the situation and I've been resolving and fixing all of these um, relationships. So far, everything has been working out. Some of these people I know personally, so I was able to speak to them, tell them what happened, and they understand. Everyone's been very, very understanding. It's, it's very difficult what I had to go through, and so they understand, but yeah. Mabuti na hinaharap mo sila, hindi mo sila yung people pinakaguan na. Bahala kayo dyan, dito mo problema, ginamit yung pangalan. Well, actually, I know I know a lot of these people, and a lot of these people, you would use me to make the introduction. introduction. So definitely, they're not relationships I want to destroy. But so I think just being honest and open and really telling the truth about what happens, that's the best way to fix all of this. Oh, so no, umpisa pa lang, di sila nag-reach out sa you to no. call your attention na lumalapit sa kanila si Jeffrey O or may nakuha sa amin si Jeffrey O at ikaw ang... No, for the same reason why we weren't able to speak. Binlock niya. Binlock niya ang... Communication. Actually, mula nung lumabas siya sa Kuluman kasi, ang totoo nun, mas madalas na siyang nasa LA. So, kahit kami, buwanan bago kami makapag-usap. So, that would explain ko bakit hindi rin niya nakakausap si James. Pero, on our side, hindi namin alam na hindi updated si James. Mm -hmm. So, nung nag-meeting lang kami ng huli, nang humihingi siya ng update, doon ko lang nalaman na hindi pala niya alam yung mga mm. transaction na pinapasok ngayon ni James. So ito mga panahon na to saan si Liza? I mean, tinawag mo lang ba si Liza para i-call yung attention? Liza na o Liza? Ito Actually, yung nangyayari kay Jeffrey, ha? Liza was in the US most of the time. Actually, I had kept this under wraps. I was very discreet about dealing with the situation. I wanted to handle this legally and properly and, and quietly without creating so much drama and mm -mm. didn't want to raise any alarms scare anyone. Mm -hmm. I wanted to handle the, the situation on my own. So I didn't really get to talk to anyone about it. I just kept it to myself and to my legal counsel. But uh, we can resolve this quickly, cleanly, the issue with Jeff. I wanted to protect myself, my artists, the company, and just deal with him first before I could let everyone know. So, ano naging bahagi ng pag-uusap niya ni Liza about this? Meron ka bang bilin sa kanya or whining? Liza, if you are oh, really I, concerned, I did. Yes, I had warned her about Jeff. I had warned her about you know all of these things. I told her about the situation, and she said she'll be careful. You know that she'll take care of herself. You know, I told her, look, you're smart. You do diligence. Everything. This is what happened. I actually spoke to everyone that I've worked with, and now that this statement about Jeff is out, I think it's very clear to be very wary of this character. Ano ba na mitsi Jeffrey? I met him in 2019. I think at the at the pop up in Katipunan. It's this mm. like, uh -uh. It's like a commercial space in, in Katipunan near the colleges. And I think I worked with him once for a show and he wanted to come on board and assist us with business, things like that. So yes, I started working with him back in 2020. So how did he get to this? Technically, he's not going to get back. How did he get to this? How did he get to this? For me, there's no one who's coming back here. We don't know what he's doing. Ang gagawin niya. Mm. Hindi ko alam kung anong magiging plano niya. Kami, eh, bilang defensa na rin lang sa kumpanya, meron kami mga kailangang gawin para malimitahan naman yung mga problema. Mm. Yung pong pagkakahuli ng uh, mga immigration officers kay uh, Jeffrey O, na nandun mismo, parang nagkaroon ng entrapment, you were there? Yes. Okay. Ano hong sabi niya doon? Like, meron ho ba siyang pinagbintangan or paano rin siya nakaalis, nakalaya at nakalipat? Nakakulong na siya kasi nung nalaman namin. So, tinignan lang namin kung ano yung mga ebidensya ng immigration laban sa kanya at 
Doon lang kami nag-focus na ano po itong mga naging problema niya sa BI. May ebidensyang hawak yung immigration na nagtatrabaho siya sa Pilipinas hmm. na wala pa naman siyang permit. Prarating pa lang niya nun eh. So, sa madalit salita, madali namang ayusin yung problema. Kaya lang, siyempre, ang iniisip namin, bakit nagsimula yung problema in the first place? So, yun ang research namin. Ano ba yung pinagagawa mo at bakit umabot sa ganito? Kaya umabot dun sa susunod na pinaod dito sa amin yung kumpanya, may mga mali bang ginagawa dito? Yun ang nag-trigger para kalkalin nyo na talaga. Sila na rin, actually, yung careless group na kasama si Liza, ang humingi ng tulong namin para siya sa atin namin, ano ba talaga ang problema? Ano ba ang mga... So, nung nadampot po si Jeffrey on ng mga immigration officers, tumawag po sa inyo si Liza pumunta, para pumunta, pumunta sa inyo para kasina. humingi ng tulong para makalaya siya. Nung una, o, oh, uh, para tulungan oh. makalabas si Jeffrey O dun sa kuduman. Si And then nung nakalabas na, bumalik siya at pinakilala na nga sila James, yung mga ibang mga taga fairness group. At uh, kung pwede nga namin tulungan sila na iayos ko ano man yung mga dapat iayos nyo sa kumpanya. Nag-grant nyo naman yung giling ni Liza na matulungan si Jeffrey na makalaya. Oo. Through your help. Well, tumulong kami pero hindi kami yung mga abogado na humawak ng immigration case. Nakalabas siya. Ang naging participation nung talaga na doon yung audit yung uh, inaudit namin yung buong kumpanya at doon namin wow. nakita na maraming dapat ayusin <coughs> at para hindi na maulit yung tinulungan uh, na. na ganun kasi maliban sa immigration nakakita pa kami ng mga ibang problema pa sa mga ibang ahensya ng gobyerno na po pwedeng pumutok so hindi ganun naman si Lai sa pag nagmahal talagang ipaglalaban niya yung tao anyways bakit ho na interrupt siya ng immigration sino kong pinagbibenta ngayon nagsumbo <laughs> uh, yun ang ma- yun ang malalim na tanong yun ang uh, matagal namin pinag- <laughs> tuunan. Kasi syempre, marating ma- sa research namin, maraming lumilitaw na galit sa kanya. So, inisa-isa namin yun. Lumutang ko bang pangalan ko? <laughs> Kasama na kayo doon. So. <laughs> Ikaw, tatay ko, a lot. There was many, many people. Ano pinagpinta nga yan nagsumbong <laughs> sa immigration and uh, siya. Uh, oh. <laughs> Baka naman di naman kami. <laughs> Oh my hindi, God. Hindi, sa investigation naman namin eh hindi. So, oh. <laughs> uh, okay oh, so nagkaroon ka rin sa really imbi- investigation kung paanong nasukol si Jeffrey O. Pero, mm. yung mga binanggit ni James, kasama ako, hindi kami. O, oh, na- naman, wala akong panahon sa kanya. Hindi, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> ang, ang nakita namin. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> hindi lang sa immigration, meron pang mga sumunod. May iba pa. Oh, kaya, kaya napilitan talaga hanapin namin kung ano talaga ang full dulo ng ano eh, ng problema. At yun lang ha, ang naging isang conclusion doon, i-recommend na sa kanya, kailangan mong alisin si Jeffrey dyan. At kung mm. talagang gusto nyo pa rin na uh, umupante, meron kaming binigay ng mga rekomendasyon kung anong gagawin doon sa kumpanya. Mm. So, paglilino lang to, ang press release ni uh, Jeffrey O ay CEO siya ng Careless Music. Tama ba? Pag in-interview siya, oh, yun ang sinasabi niya. Na CEO siya. Mm. But ba? the truth is, wala siya doon sa dun? korporasyon. Wala. Voilà. Bakit tinayaan mo siya na i-press release yung CEO siya? When I found out that it happened, people were saying, hindi pwede yun. Pati yung tatay ko, sabi niya, hindi pwede yun. Actually, okay. napalood ko yung interview noon, no? uh-huh. when nagsasalita si Jeff, katabi to, makikita mo yung mukha niya na shock. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ganun. May interview, tapos may sinasabi oh. siya. Oh. And then, that's the first time I, I hear about it. I'm like, wow. You really said that? And then it's not until afterwards Shocking I said, why did mean. you say that? Or is that what's really happening? You didn't tell me this. And then he would explain later, ah, oh, I'm, I'm planting this, I'm planting seeds, oh. I'm doing that. Na, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, he always has an answer for everything. Na, mm. naniniwala ka naman. Yeah. Ganun yung style niya, uunahan ka. Tapos mm. nag- nangyari na eh. So, papaliwanan na lang. Napaniwala ka talaga. Too late na. And then he got arrested. So, we saw it coming. We knew it was going to happen. But even after our discussion, na wag na niyang i-represent yung sarili niya, nagpa-interview siya ulit, na yun pa ulit yung sinasabi niya. Kaya medyo sinasabi na namin, hindi to titigil eh. Pinadala niya sa akin, actually siya yung nagpadala sa amin nung copy ng interview as lawyers. Sabi na, ano pa magagawa namin dito? Sinabi mo na, dapat pinaklear mo muna sa amin bago hmm. ka nagpa-interview. What was your reaction nung, kasi nakita kita nun eh, parang puti-puti pa hair mo. 
bland ka pa nun eh. Nung pumasok yung mga officers para kunin siya, nasya ka ba no? Ba't nandito itong mga to? Yes. Or kasi sabi mo, ini-expect mo nang mangyayari. Yes and no. Of course, syempre I was, I was shocked to see the one in the office and then they arrested him. I was like, oh my God. And then once they released the statement, how he was arrested, and I saw everything. Like, is this true? Like, if he, is he, did he really do all of these things? One of the things stated that he was a fugitive in other countries. Fugitive? So I thought, no, impossible. Ito. Like, this can't be true. Maybe there is someone out to get him. And then, you know, after all was said and done, tama pala. <laughs> I was like, wow, I can't believe that I had. I tried to help him. I tried to protect him. And then he just turned around and stabbed me in the back and then ran away. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that it was done and it didn't go any further. Mm. It could have been worse. At the end of the day, I didn't care about the money, how much mm. I lost. That's I 150. Was more, I, was, I was more glad to just be surrounded by people that I could trust. Uh -huh. wow. And I was more glad to feel safe and have clarity and to be able to move on with what I really wanted to do. First place. Atoy, meron ba kayong gustong ipaalam sa public or hingin kay Jeffrey O? Since hindi siya nagpaparamdam sa inyo. Para sa amin lang, gusto na rin talaga namin tuldukan lahat ng uh, relasyon na, na magitan sa kanya, sa careless group, at pati itong mga panibagong projects na ginagawa ni James. No? Para malinis na. Papadala naman namin siya ng, ano eh, ng accounting kung ano yung mga obligasyon niya o binibintang sa kanya para para magkaroon siya ng pagkakataong ipaliwanan kung gusto niyang ipaliwanan. Eh kung hindi, dadaanin na lang namin sa batas. Kasi naman, eh marami rin nalugi dahil dun sa, mm. sa nangyari niyo. Siyempre si Liza, maraming naninibago eh. Feeling nung iba na ito ba yung turo ng careless kay Liza na on air, biglang nag-iba yung kanyang mga pronouncements, yung kanyang mga statements. Siyempre yung iba, ang ipinapalagay nila, turo ng careless, na ito sasabihin ni Liza on air. Sa vlog niya, sa uh, interviews. May kinalaman ng Careless. When Liza was with Careless, she really had her own team. You know, she worked very closely with Jeff. Not so not so much me. Me and Liza were close, but she really had her own team within our ah. company. And uh, she worked very closely with Jeff. I would say he had a lot of influence, not over just her career, but also mine. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he really like steered the both of us in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. He's very convincing, let's just say that. <laughs> he's very, he's very convincing. Uh, he can talk a lot, but yeah, I believe he, you know, he really drove us in the wrong direction when it came to our careers. And I just hope that, you know, she's careful. Kaharap ko na rin si James with sasamantalahin ko na to. Kasi yung Jeffrey O, sinasabi niya na tinago namin kay Liza yung Spider-Man offer kay Liza. Hindi namin inano. Yes, I heard that. Spider-Man! Hindi namin, hindi namin binigay sa kanya. Hindi namin sinabi sa kanya. Eh, syempre, sinagot ko si Jeffrey O. Una-una, sana na nga may offer. Eh, wala naman kami natanggap na email from Spider-Man Group na kukunin si Liza Grabe sa Sleeping Lady. Si Jeff. Sorry, ha, nagkaroon ka ba ng ano sa akin? Ito naman si OJ, tinago pa kay Liza yung Spider-Man. Meron naman palang offer. I mean, yes. Yes. A little bit. I was like, what? Really? Like, if there was that kind of offer, like, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want that kind of the opportunity, oh, the ayan, attention, ayan. everything? That's, that would be great for your career. So I was like, man, why? Yeah. Why not? But then, um, you said, you I'm never sorry. heard it. So you never I've heard of anything like that. Pala. Tusko, wala nga nag email sabi, sabi ko nga dun sa co-manager ko. Ay, wala naman Magic. pala. Munch, meron bang alo? Pala. Sabi ko, kahit libre yun, papatulang ko yun. <laughs> Siyempre, Spider-Man yun. Hmm. Leading lady ka ni Spider-Man. Leading lady. Ay, wala naman ganong alo. So, feeling ko tuloy, sabi ko, naku, baka nag-iba tingin sa akin ni James Reed. Sabihin niya, si, tinatago sa ito ni OG, na dapat ikaw na itong leading lady ni Spider-Man. I'm not machismis. So, <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay. And and then moved on with my life. <laughs> But for some reason, Jeff took it to, felt that he needed to uh, tell the whole country about it, which I never understood. He made a lot of decisions on not just her, on my behalf, but also on her behalf yeah, that I think. think we're not smart. Just not smart. Basta gusto ko lang linawin sa'yo, walang ganong offer. Sabi mo, say, kahit libre. Wala. Kalating ko yun, ano. Ito talaga si Jeff. Gusto ko makakapagpaangat sa premium ni Liza yun, hindi ba? Kaya lang wala naman talaga. James, meron ka bang gusto sabihin kay Liza? I'm sure napapanood niya ito. Mapapanood. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, I just 
wanted to say that we wish her really all the best and I hope that she's safe and I hope she takes care of herself and I hope that her dreams really do push through. Even me, I worked hard to help her in any way that I could in LA and yeah, she always has a careless family here whenever she comes back home. Um, I think she knows. I think she knows. She's a smart girl. Ma iba naman ako James. Magbabalik na ba si James? Not as a producer, but as an actor. As an actor, yes, I do have plans. Very, very soon. It was always my plan to go back to acting. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to do music first. I say at the time, I felt like being in a love team. I felt like I was losing my identity and it's just, I think it's something that everyone goes through at some point in their lives. You need a drastic change in your life <laughs> and I feel like switching from acting into to music, music. Uh -huh. was that, that kind of change I needed. Because say through music is very personal, I get to write my own songs, produce my own music. Lahat ng kwento galing sa akin, it's very personal. I discovered a lot of myself through music, through doing business, through going through challenges, dealing with people like Jeff and going through all of this all of this mess and still coming out the other side I've learned a lot uh -huh. and I'm very happy with my music right now things are going very well I'm excited to do acting again uh -oh. most likely by next year early next mm -hmm. year so syempre na tanong yan babalik bang ba JT <laughs> I don't think that's happening <laughs> oh <laughs> syempre alam mo lang ang dami rin in fairness naman ang dami yung pa rin sorry pa. guys yes no there's still that undying support that you know I'm always grateful for even as I transition to music and dun pa rin sila promote my music and support me. Uh -oh. But, you know, out of respect for my girlfriends, Isa, I don't think I'd ever do another love team. I think a lot of the audience can tell reality from showbiz when it comes to love team. So, you know, out of respect for her, I don't think I'd ever do that again. But acting, definitely. And, you know, I thank the fans. Like much but siempre, like, it's been a very difficult year for me, also for Isa, and I'm sure for Nadine also. Just with all of the noise, all of the bashing. Sana people can move on from all of that. I have to say, like to be very honest for me Sorry, witnessing all of the bashing nakaka depression to be honest mm -mm. and i hope people can move on and just please give us Wala nang JD. <laughs> you know but you're still friends. Yes, I have, I have no problem. Oh, naman. Chaka, wala naman yeah. kaming naririnig sa you na you're saying anything against. No, no, it's not that at all. It's just the uh, fans have a way of creating mm. rumors and uh -huh. all of this stuff saying that like inaga or whatever which is makes no sense because i dated someone after nadine anyway don't ask me who um <laughs> yeah so that, it just doesn't even make any sense um but you know people will always make up their own stories and i just try my best to live a life that i'm proud of so that i can sleep at night and just focus on my life and hopefully people will just move on because they can see that happy naman kami happy naman sila so uh -oh. everybody happy yes uh -oh. tama na kasi uh -oh. <laughs> na ng mga, sa kabila ng mga problema ni James, buha ko pa rin siya. <laughs> yan pa rin ang mukha. No? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yan pa rin ang mukha ni James. <laughs> oh, Nababalot na, na ng problema yan. <laughs> James, what did you learn? It was a very expensive learning experience, but you know, af after everything that happened, simple lang yung gusto ko. Like I just wanted to make music, wanted to work with friends, people that I trust, create projects that we love, and just it was very simple what we wanted. But I worked with the wrong person. I think I'm too trusting to a fault. Sometimes I'm too optimistic, but yeah. luckily we're able to deal with the situation. I'm very grateful for my team. Very grateful for Attorney Riddell for assisting me in this and I'm very happy now that you know, it feels like a, a weight has been lifted and you know I can move forward without any confusion. Right before everything was so confusing like why does this not make sense? Why is this happening? Why are so many people upset? You know throughout my whole career it's never been like this and I feel like now it's starting to make sense again. You know I think that was the thing that just didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. That there's no one with their own agenda and you know I think everything's gonna be okay from here on out and that's why I wanted to meet with you actually because I wanted to make it clear once and for all that he's no longer working with us and I don't think he should be working with anyone in this country. Kayong dating manager ni Liza. Just to make it official that Liza is no longer managed by Careless, but you know, she's there in LA focused on, on her career and we wish her all the best. But nakakatuwa si James kasi hinaharap mo yung mga problema hindi naman ikaw may gawa. But I felt, you know, responsible because kasi nagamit yung company. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Kaya ini-isa-isa mo naman. siyang silang tawagan. Mm-hmm. Also that. because it was people I know, people that I that were my friends, people that he had turned against me oh. and turned me against them. As soon as I talked to everyone, I, I cleared the air, I told them the truth, everything started to make sense. And all the signs pointed back to you, to Jeff, who had caused so many problems with so many lies. And I'm just glad that it's, it's over with and that's no longer a problem. Ayan guys, so sa sinabi pa nga ni James Reed, sobrang optimistic siya, sobrang positive minded siya. And yung sinabi niyang too trusting, no? napakadali niyang mag-trust sa isang tao. Sobrang trust talaga no? na to the point na iniwan talaga si Jeff sa, sa kampanya niya at uh, si Uh, James Reed ay pumunta ng ibang bansa at binigyan ng uh, authority na mag-manage si Jeff sa kanyang uh, ano, uh, company na tinatawag na Careless and even managing Liza Soberano. Pero uh, here it comes, no? Uh, ginawa yung sarili niya na si Jeff ginawa niyang sarili niya na CEO at to the point na ginamit na lahat ng mga uh, transaksyon ang pangalan ng Careless Uh, to the point na sobrang daming trouble na ginawa ni Jeff. Napaka-dami rin pera na, na waste. Pero ang sabi ni James Reed, doesn't matter sa pera. Ang, ang masaya siya ngayon na wala na si Jeff at wala na yung nagbibigay ng problema sa kanyang company. So, sa inyong paninindigan guys, tama ba ang ginawa ni James Reed? Or anong nasa isip nyo? Or nasa Uh, palagay nyo guys comment nyo sa, uh, sa comment section and hanggang sa susunod natin na uh, pagkipag-usap dito sa what's up ka Pinoy Rob If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community.